Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson from the Real Life Health Show. I just wanted to make a video and speak about the cause of many people's illnesses, diseases, and so on. And it really comes down to how we deal with stress and also the stress we allowed in our lives. A lot of people like to make it about diet and what they're eating. And yes, there's a tremendous impact on our health or on our disease of what we're putting in our body. But really, the biggest part of disease comes what we put in our mind or what we don't put in our mind because so many people get stressed out about things they don't really have control over and they ignore the things that they actually do have control over and that's where much of the problem comes in. So when I hear people telling me that they're uh, suffering from some illness and stuff and 100% of the times their diet's not good, but the majority of the time their attitude isn't good either. And there's a the connection right there because there's a lot of people that eat unhealthy in this world, but they're not getting diseases. And when you think about it, they usually have a good attitude about it. So it's not really diet that's the major issue or the only issue. A big, uh, more prevalent issue obviously is uh, what people are doing about uh, their attitude or shall I say the way they're thinking about certain things. So it comes down to having a positive or uh, uplifting or even better yet uh, enthusiastic outlook about life and a big part of it is uh, enjoying what we do and doing what we enjoy every day it's very hard to have a positive outlook and enthusiastic outlook about life if you hate what you do every single day of your life uh, and the same thing goes true to diet if you hate eating healthy if you hate the food you put in your body it's really hard to function to a certain degree uh, but when you start really uh, connecting with your diet, eating the way that is making you feel great and you love the taste of it. I mean, most of us live for the pleasure of eating. It's a big uh, motivator for people that do what they do. And if you get into a lifestyle where you love eating and it's healthy, you see the pleasure of eating isn't good when that eating leads to a disease or obesity or something else. But when that eating leads to you feeling physically amazing, and looking amazing, well now you're on to something here. So you can be enthusiastic about the pleasure of eating, which you're gonna do every day. You have the wisdom to eat healthy, which is gonna keep your body healthy. And if you put all that together with uh, doing something for a living that you love to do every day, and you put all that together with uh, the fulfillment of your family or your, your friends, uh, now you can start seeing things in a positive outlook. Now look at the opposite side of that. Somebody that eats a diet that they don't like or eats a diet, even if they do like, that leads to putting their bodies in uh, some sort of shape or condition that they don't like. Uh, being uh, uh, around people that they don't like, uh, doing something for a living that they don't like, disease is... is <laughs> is gonna be the result of that. And I'm um, sorry to say that for those of you that are in that situation, but the great news is you to be aware of it and do something about it. So don't say, yeah, I know. Okay, if you know, do something, change. And how can we change? Well, it could start with your diet, change your diet. Easier said than done, right? Some people say it's easier to change a man's religion than it is the way he eats than his diet. Well, start changing the way you eat. Uh, and, and, you'll, and, and exercising. Exercising is one of the greatest uplifters of, of attitude. So exercise, eat healthy. Then you can start working on maybe having more energy and time to go and get a, a better job or create a better lifestyle for yourself. And then once you do that, even if you're making less money, you're now spending less money on food. I just did a video about that recently, about eating healthy. It doesn't have to cost that much. And, and, and you're feeling better. You have more energy, more time to do things. So not only more time for your, uh, to get your work done, but also more time to spend with your family and loved ones. And now you can start taking a positive outlook on life. But all of this has a connection to our disease. The study of epigenetics is one of the biggest uh, missed, overlooked, but now upcoming uh, areas of so-called medicine, but really just health that uh, people are giving more attention to. And epigenetics really has a lot to do with the, the attitude uh, the surroundings, the external factors that have a play on the internal factors. The big connection to it, more than uh, we ever imagined before, because we think disease breeds inside us and, and, and is created and, and lives inside us. 
but now we know that our external factors can determine our attitude and our, our lifestyle in terms of the way we see the world. And that can have an impact on our stress levels and also on the disease we suffer from. And so many people today, I just saw a video on this not too long ago, uh, are, 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 are trained from a, from a very young age to fit a society way of living that produces disease thinking or disease promoted thinking and it, it, it starts off with uh, the, 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 the parents both have to work so the kids are put in a government school and the government school has to teach the kid or does teach the kid uh, how they teach them and a, a lot of that is supported by drug companies now they're giving Ritalin to kids in school and other drugs, opiates to kids in school, and the kids aren't happy, the parents aren't happy, the teachers aren't happy, they're just doing their common core teaching job. And, and so now the children are being brainwashed at a young age to live at a job that they're unhappy just to survive instead of living the life they should be living and thriving. And, and that's the way they're trained to live the rest of their life. And the longer they live like this, the more upset or unhappy they are and then disease produces in their body. No matter any time in your life, that could be changed once you take the so-called red pill and you start to see things for the truth and how they really are. And you know, it's hard to let go of feelings, but uh, you can change your mind and create new habits. And we gotta get in this habit of negativity. We need to get in a more uplifting, uh, uh, positive attitude to get better from our diseases. Uh, we all can look at things in a certain way, and I know a lot of people that suffer from cancer and other diseases. It's all how we look at it. It's all how we look at it. And so we, we first have to, you know, it's not all how we look at it. A lot of it has to do with wisdom, getting wisdom about what's going on and get away from toxic situations. Get away from toxic food and get away from toxic situations. You have to, you have to, if you wanna get rid of the toxicity in your body. The greatest detox you can do is detoxify yourself from toxic situations, whether that be a job, whether that be your so-called friends or people around you, whether that be uh, your, 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 your diet and you're like, get away from those toxic situations, put yourself in a more positive atmosphere and a great place to start is by going to a gym and exercising or going to the beach and exercising or a park and exercising. Uh, exercising is one of the greatest positive uh, things you could do in your lifestyle to change your attitude and to change your outlook on life. Uh, get a good exercise routine and so on. But now where does this training come in that teaches us to be so uh, unhappy and, and un, un enthusiastic about life? The number one killer, or the number one thing that's leading to this is what we need to get rid of, and it's TV programming. TV programming, please, 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 throw out your TV sets if you wanna really get uh, the truth about what health can feel like. Get rid of your TV sets and you've gotten rid of the blue pill and now you can start swallowing the red pill and start understanding about true information and, and, and just, that's, that's where it starts. It's in the mind, really. So I guess the topic of this video could be disease is created in the mind and manifests in the body. And we can reverse that. And sometimes it might be a progress so much so it might take a longer time to reverse that, but. It all has to start and end with our thinking and our outlook. And I heard a long time ago, I used to think the word repent meant to change our actions, but repent means to change our thinking. So we need to uh, change our thinking from uh, the way we've been living in terms of the foods we've been eating and the lifestyle we've been living. Get rid of the TV and I see it, I see it. The more I, I haven't watched TV in a long time, the more I don't. The more I see the mind control of people that do. I think I saw South Park years ago where they were going into the planetarium and everyone that went into the planetarium came out hypnotized. They were, they were just hypnotized. <laughs> and that's what television is like. Everyone that turns the TV on is hypnotized. There's a reason why they call it TV programming. So get rid of your TV, get into a gym or on a beach and exercise or at a park. Uh, eat healthier. It's not difficult to learn how to eat. Eat a carrot instead of a carrot cake. Eat an apple instead of an apple pie and uh, try to stop eating animals, that's another thing. Look, animals eating animals, they call it mad cow disease, right? But 
Humans eating animals, they call that what? Normal? <laughs> That's not normal. We got mad people disease out there, folks. That's why we got road rage and all these other people and psychotic drugs and everything else, because we're eating animals. <sighs> How come they, they name a disease for cows, mad cow disease? Or if cats are eating other cats, they call it mad cat disease. Dogs eating other dogs, call it mad dog disease. Humans eating other animals and they call it nutrition. <laughs> it's just crazy. So yeah, so stop eating animals. Uh, stop eating the drugged up milk that comes from animals. Stop eating the eggs that come up from drugged up chickens. Uh, get rid of your TV sets that tells you it's okay to do all those things. You have to do all those things. Just uh, start living a more positive uh, environment, atmosphere. Get up and do what you love to do every single day. And it, it, it's, it's really wonderful. And uh, I want to encourage everybody. I want to encourage everybody. It's uh, a beautiful life. It really truly is out there. Because no matter what you're going through, the sun comes up every single day. The sun goes down. It's a beautiful sunset and sunrise. And uh, no matter what we're doing in life, we have an opportunity to see that. And, uh, there's a uh, color therapy, right? It's color therapy, and it, it shows us the beautiful colors can change our mood, right? By different, by looking at different colors, change our mood. Well, sunrise or sunset. That'll change our mood real quickly. So, so use use the gifts that are given to us, the color therapy and other things out there that can be used to our benefit. They can definitely bless us. All right, everybody. Leave your comments or questions below the video if you have any questions. And uh, as the song says, don't worry, be happy. I have a good friend of mine. I like what he says about it all. He says only solutions, no problems, only solutions. I like that. Happy. All right, everybody. Uh, Please check out my member website, rawlifehealthshow.com, if you want some more uplifting videos to help you out with that or learn and grow. And it'll be a comments question below the video. Until then, have a great day and a great raw life.